Welcome to the World United. Welcome to the World United. Hello, Namaste, Ola, Aloha, and welcome to the Global Transformation Festival 2021. This is November 5th, Friday in Australia, day one, session one, track three. And the topic for today's session is overcoming adversity. I'm your host, Nancy Vigde from sunny California, and I welcome you all to this very heart-centered, insightful session. Our speakers in this session are Deborah Tessens, Mel Harrison, Suki Riddler, Sue Zaki Leong. And after the speeches, after we've heard from them, we will interact together in a very lively panel discussion. And with that, I would like to welcome our first speaker, Deborah Tathis. Hello. Deborah is, hi. <laughs> so Deborah is a speaker, empowerment coach, and author who is driving opportunity and facilitating freedom. And she's going to be talking on the power to change the trajectory of your life. Deborah is dedicated to driving opportunities and facilitating freedom for personal and professional success. She's passionate about empowering others to create opportunities and create success, even when it seems impossible. Following a near fatal car accident, having sustained devastating injuries, Deborah beat the medical odds and went on to achieve professional and personal success. Deborah is a founder of Tragic Opportunities. Private Limited, the author of Beyond Trauma, Turn Tragedy into Opportunity, and a contributing author in two books of inspirational stories. She's spoken internationally and appeared on health and wellness TV programs, podcasts, and on radio. Her programs also feature in leading online wellness learning platforms. As an experienced professional educational consultant, with multiple qualifications in cognitive, behavioral coaching practices, management, training, and assessment, and accelerated learning. Deborah provides professional and personal development programs, workshops, and seminars designed for individuals, groups, teams, and businesses. Having triumphed against the odds and mastered creating opportunities from stress and trauma, Deborah shares a story and her methods to empower others to create success and live their best life. So a warm, warm welcome to you, Deborah. the power Thank to change you. the trajectory of your life. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's an absolute privilege to be, um, to be here today. And um, I'm going to share my screen because I have a, a little bit of a, a presentation as well, which I'd like to go through. Um, so one moment. Come on. There we go. Can everybody see that? Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. So today I'm going to be speaking about the power to change the trajectory of your life. And really the core of this is harnessing the powers of choice, perspective and focus. So my name is Deborah Stathis. I'm a speaker, empowerment coach and author. And... My business is tragic opportunities because that's really the core of everything that I do. So I'm going to be speaking a little bit about how we can change the trajectory of our life and what tragic, what a tragic opportunity actually is. So to start off, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and how I came across creating tragic opportunities. So this is actually the cover of my book, my book, Beyond Trauma, Turn Tragedy into Opportunity. And as you can see there, on the cover of my book, you can see half a skull and half my face. That skull there, and if you look closely, there are pins and plates and there's a four by 10 centimetre hole cut in my forehead. That is, in fact, my skull. So how have I learned how we can find pain, how we can use pain and how we can use fear and how that can actually empower us. How have I learned this? Well, it's on the cover of my book. And here's the question that I've got for everybody listening. Have you ever felt paralyzed by your emotions? Have you ever felt stuck 
because of your life situation, because of pain, because of fear. And I can tell you I have. Many years ago I was involved in an incredibly severe car accident and I won't go into all the details because in today's session we don't have time, but what I will tell you is this, that the prognosis was brain damaged, blind in the right eye and physically unrecognisable. To be blunt, she won't be very pretty. I broke my lower jaw, my upper jaw, my cheekbone, my forehead, my nose, my cheekbone and my upper jaw. The worst break is through the sinuses and through the skull base, which is what your brain sits on internally. I have a traumatic brain injury. I also have bruising and bleeding to the lungs and a partially collapsed left lung, which is kind of minor in comparison to the facial and head injuries. I'm very proud to say that today I beat pretty much every single medical odd against me. Now, yes, there was an incredible medical team and I'm so grateful for that. Um, and grateful for the country that I live in as well. However, there's a point that we get to where there's hospital tick, rehabilitation tick, now what? You see, the healing doesn't end there. And this is where we have power. This is where we feel perhaps we don't have power, but we do. Finding your power in pain and fear, creating what I now call tragic opportunities. So what's a tragic opportunity? The tragedy is the pain, suffering, stress, challenge, adversity that we experience. And that's not always something as uh, physically, um, uh, like a physical injury. That could be anything in our, in our life. That's the tragedy. What's the opportunity? The opportunity is what we have learned, what we acknowledge we've learnt and then how we choose to use that knowledge to improve ourselves, redevelop our life, redevelop ourselves and make better decisions to enhance our life and our relationships. So I'm all about creating tragic opportunities. It's the core of what I do. The core is identify the lessons within challenges and stress and create positive productive change. Here's the key. Trauma is a source of strength. You have survived and you are strong. We think, oh, I've been through this, I've been through that. And often the system almost makes us feel like the victim, you know, because it happened to me. What if it happens for you? And I know that's a bit of a cliche, but you have the power to change that perspective. We all do. So here's where I'd like to go into a bit more detail about that. Harnessing the power of choice, perspective, and focus. You see, the power of choice enables us to harness the powers of perspective, focus, perspective and focus, so as we can create a vision. This is where we have power. What do we want? How do we want to live? How do we view our situation? For as long as we sit and we say, this happened to me, I'm powerless, that's exactly what we're going to be. For as long as I was to sit there and accept the limitations, of my situation, that's exactly what I was going to get. So for me, there was a defining moment, and I'll only share this very briefly because, again, we don't have time. But it was the, time, the first time that I looked at my face in the mirror. The mirrors in the, the uh, hospital had been covered so as not to traumatise me any further. But when I was alone in, my, in that rehabilitation centre, and the mirror in my room was not covered. And I made my way over there. I had my head down and it took me a while to look up. But when I looked up, I mean, I cried and it hit me hard. But something happened. And that was choice. That was, that little room represented she can't, she won't. She won't know who she was. She won't look the same. She won't be, she won't be able to go to uni. She won't be able to travel. She won't be able, and I thought, no. I don't want that. Now, when we have this, we retreat often in fear, right? We feel fear, we retreat. Ugh. As soon as we retreat, we get exactly the thing we don't want because we're making ourselves powerless. And I know that that's a, that's a full-on statement, but we have the choice to say, hang on. And this is what I did. Something happened and I went, I don't want that. And I looked in that mirror and I went, okay, Deb, you're here now. 
What are you going to do? What do you want to do? So my choice, my choice to focus. And this is where I go into my the power of choice method. And I'll go through this briefly again. I know I don't have a lot of time. But the power of choice method is four key points. One, accept where you are and focus forward from there. So for as long as we think, focus backwards about the life we wanted or the life we thought we wanted, possibly the life other people are telling us we should have, but I'll just throw that in there. For as long as we focus on that, we stop ourselves from moving forward. Accept where you are. Okay, I'm here now. This has happened to me. It hurts, but it's happened. I'm here. How do I feel now? What do I want now? Review your perspective, number two, and decide how you want to be, live, and feel, which I have a process around as well, because that's the thing. An important um, distinction to make is that it's not always our old life or what we used to do that we miss. It's the feeling, the attachment to it, the feeling that we had to what we used to do or how we used to live that we're attached to. And we always have a choice to create something new to recreate that happy, excited, um, purposeful feeling. So that perspective of, well, what can I do now? How do I want to experience life? Not, not the detail. How do I want to be, live and feel? Because once you set that, everything else becomes subject to certain prerequisites and that's when you find your way. Three, focus, what you do have and can do. You know what? Incredibly liberating to realise that perhaps I'm the only person that can do things a certain way. Incredi incredibly liberating to realise that I could authentically reinvent myself. How's that for a perspective change? How's that for a focus? What can I do? Okay, there are certain things that I couldn't do, but what can I do to strengthen myself, my health, my focus, my well-being? Health and nutrition, for example, certain activities, learning, etc. And four, create a vision. And this is all our choice. So a vision. Without a vision, we don't have action. So we need to think about what vision we want, what relationships we want to have. So very briefly, my four-step process to choose how to be, live, and feel. So these are the last two uh, items, which I think are just key points, which I'd like to very quickly go through. So you identify your true desire. You commit to it as a goal. You create a plan. Goals require plans to be realised, okay? Nothing happens if you don't take action. And, of course, action. Take action. Act out the life you want. What's your true desire? One, what's your true desire? How do I want to be, live, and feel? Commit to it. This is how I'm going to be, live, and feel. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Create it. Create a plan. What can I do now? Make action points and then do it. Dress the part. Go and research. Uh, explore your options. And what vision do you want? What vision do you want to have? What vision do you have in these areas? What's the vision for your life? How do you want your relationships to be with your friends, with your family? How do you want your health to be? What sort of career do you want to have? What do you see? What vision do you have for these areas? And just to note here, life balance, balance is not about scales. For as long as we think about balance of scales, we're going to be off. Everybody's different. So everybody's life balance is balanced differently in these areas. But think about your vision, where you want to be, how you want to live, and how, what you see in these areas of your life. This is how we change the trajectory of our life. So we can't always choose what happens to us, but we can choose how we respond. Now, there's a difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is frenetic and, and um, oh, quick, what, what can I do now? It's, it's not thought out. Responding is purposeful and calm. We have the choice to respond instead of react. We have the choice of what we focus on. We have the choice of how we view our situation, no matter how devastating it might seem. We have the choice of the decisions that we make. 
Nobody can control what goes on in here. You're with yourself all the time. Choose your thoughts carefully. So this is what I say about choice. You have the power of choice and choice is your power. So choose your power and never, ever, ever give up. I'm living proof of that. Like I said, brain damage, blind in the right eye, not looking like herself. I've traveled internationally. I have two beautiful children. I have a company and I have a, a previous successful career in professional education and training. I defied the odds. I'm not special. Anybody, anybody can do this. Thank you for including me in this. I hope to see everybody again soon. Again, choose your power, never give up. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Deborah. Um, well, you. Uh, uh, can you give me a minute? I will yep. just, uh, can you stop your share? Sorry. No problem, no problem. So Deborah, you know, I was, I raised butterflies and I looked at the first picture you had of the butterfly just emerging from the cocoon. And I know firsthand, and I see it in you, the incredible fragility and the incredible strength. And I could feel that in your story, like so, so deep. Um, I look forward to chatting you more during the panel. Um, and uh, on behalf, and I would like to present you with a certificate on behalf of Dr. Yugandar and Grandma Parisha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the World United Presence Certificate of Speaker, oh, Deborah Sathis, for being an esteemed speaker in Global Transformation Festivals 2021 Australia, on behalf of Dr. Yugandar and Grandma Parisha. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. I'm just, I've got, I've actually got that sort of butterfly feeling in my chest now. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much. My, it's my absolute privilege. Thank you.